let us listen to the decree that granted the pontifical coronation of Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage 95 years ago. This will be read in Spanish by Reverend Father Melchor Andaya and in English by Reverend Father Francis Roy Madarang, parochial vicars of Antipolo Cathedral. Please all stand. Rafael Tituli Sancte Praxedis, Sancte Romane Ecclesiae Presbyter Cardinalis Meriderval, Patriarchalis Basilicae Principis Apostolorum de Urbe Archipresbyter Sacre Congregationis Refabricae Prefectus, Nec Non Capitulum et Canonici. Al Romo, Signor Miguel J. O'Doherty, Arthobispo de Manila, Manila, Islas, Pilipinas. Salud en el Señor. El reverendísimo capítulo de tu iglesia y catedral y demás clero de tu arquidiócesis araba de manifestar a nuestro capítulo a quien corresponde conceder el privilegio y honor de coronar las imágenes de la Madre de Dios que se distinguen por la antigüedad de su culto y por la fama de sus milagros que allí en Antipolo se venera una preclara e enseña imagen de la Santísima Virgen María, Señora Nuestra, traída a esas islas filipinas por de Don Juan Niño de Tabora, la cual por espacio de tres siglos viene siendo el consuelo en la defensa de sus habitantes, por cuyo motivo le profesan singular y filial de bozón todos esos pueblos. Así que, llevados de su achendrada piedad, nos han suplicado con instancia perdica augusta imagen, sea coronada con cuela corona de oro, con que zulen ser oradas por nuestro capítulo las prohiguasas imágenes de la Madre de Dios. Suplica que he sido colaborada con tus cartas. Nosotros, pues, que tanto aleamos ver a la Santísima Virgen honorada en todas partes del mundo, accedimos gustosos a tan puesta súplica. Por tanto, el día 13 de junio del presente año, congregados en la sala capitular, toda vez que to por los documentos presentados, aparece claro que dicha sagra imagen viene las condiciones que se quieren para su lene coronación. A mayor gloria de la Santísima Trinidad, para mayor ornamento y culto de la Madre de Dios, con el fin de promover más y más en las islas filipinas en la fe católica y apostólica, con unánime consentimiento, decretamos y mandamos que dicha preclara e ensaña imagen de la Virgen María de Antipolo, Señora Nuestra, que se venera en dicho en dico santuario, sea solenemente Coronada, para cuyo solene acto de la coronación el día que quisieres por medio de las presentes letras liberamente por, por vosotros expedidas. Te autorizamos a ti, Romo, señor arzobispo de Manila, con facultad de subdelegar para el caso a otro obispo si a ti bien le pacerse. Datum Romei, 18 Domini 1925, Pontificus y Papei, undicesimo ano cuatro, Vicentibus Bianchi Colieri, Conoscus ab Octis, Josephus Cascioli, Cancellerus. Please be seated.
Raphael Mary del Val, Cardinal Priest of the Holy Roman Church, Archpriest of the Patriarchal Basilica of St. Peter in Rome, Prefect of the Sacred Congregation of the Holy Fabric, the Chapter and the Canons, to the Most Reverend Lord Michael Do o Doherty, Health in the Lord, the Reverend Chapter of your Cathedral Church and other clergy of your Archdiocese, has just manifested to our chapter who is responsible for granting the privilege and honor to crown images of the Holy Mother of God that are distinguished by the antiquity of their cult or the fame of her miracles that there in Antipolo, an illustrious and distinguished image of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady, is venerated, brought to the Philippine Islands by Juan Nino de Tabora, which for three centuries has been the comfort and defense of its inhabitants, for which reason all these people profess singular and filial devotion to her. Thus, to suit their unblemished piety, you have requested to us the petition that the said image be crowned with a crown of gold with which the prodigious images of the Mother of God are usually honored by our chapter, a supplication that has been corroborated by your letters. We, therefore, long to see the Blessed Virgin honored all over the world, just as we agreed willingly to the appeal. Therefore, on the 13th day of June this year, gathered in the chapter hall, since from the doc documents presented, it is clear that the holy image meets the conditions required for the solemn coronation, for the greater glory of the Blessed Trinity, for more ornament and cult of the Mother of God, with the end to promote more and more in the Philippines the gift of Catholic and apostolic faith, with unanimous consent, we decree and prescribe that these illustrious and distinguished image of the Virgin Mary of Antipolo, Our Lady, which is venerated in that sanctuary, be solemnly crowned. For this solemn act, the day which you will choose, by virtue of these present letters, freely issued by us, we authorize you, Most Reverend Lord Archbishop of Manila, with the faculty to subdelegate the affairs to another bishop if you deem it proper. Given in Rome on the 19th day of June in the year of the Lord, 1925, the third year of the pontificate of our Most Holy Lord, Pope Pius XI, Vicente Bianchi Canon, Josephus Cassioli, Chancellor. Please all rise. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord. God of heaven and earth, for in your mercy and justice you cast down the mighty and exalt the lowly. Your marvelous wisdom is shown above all in the Word made flesh and in his virgin mother. For he, your Son, who freely humbled himself even unto death on the cross, now sits at your right hand and is radiant 
with an ending glory, the King of kings and Lord of lords. And she, the virgin, who wished to be called your servant, was singled out to be mother of the Redeemer and true mother of all the living. Now she is exalted above the choirs of angels and reigns in glory with her Son, praying for all of us, the Queen of Mercy, pleading for grace. Merciful Lord, look upon your servants, who by commemorating the crowning of our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, the mother of your Son, proclaim him as King of all creation, and approach her as our Queen. Give us the grace to follow them in serving you, to do what love demands for the sake of our brothers and sisters, to deny ourselves and spend ourselves so as to win our neighbors for you, to be lowly on earth so as to be exalted in heaven where you reward your faithful servants with a crown of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.